Uh, my name is Josephine Dagiri. I am a Ugandan lawyer and academic. I hold a Master's of Laws degree in International Human Rights Law and I'm here to pursue my SJD in the same area. Outrage upon personal dignity is a war crime that is prohibited in both international humanitarian law and international criminal law. It basically encompasses anything that's degrading and humiliating, you know, in a combat zone. While pursuing my master's degree at Notre Dame, I took a class called um, Gender Issues in International Law. And in that class, we were, it, were introduced to a lot of issues and atrocities that are specifically um, targeted to a specific group. For example, the femicide in Guatemala, sexual violence in the DRC, and honor killings in some Muslim countries. So I got uh, interested and decided to read about the issue further. So I've been reading a lot of uh, human rights reports and, you know, kind of following the practice in various areas. And so I think that's what got me started. As an academic, I identified so many gaps, uh, theoretical gaps, in terms of the jurisprudence that was coming out of the international tribunals. And as an activist, I also saw so many discrepancies and challenges in trying to enforce um, justice for sexual victims. And they ranged from the law itself to the institutions and the people who are working in those institutions. For example, victims and witnesses weren't adequately protected. And because they weren't protected, they didn't come forth to claim their rights. Or because evidence wasn't uh, collected properly, the prosecutor didn't have enough evidence to, to prosecute the case, and it had to be dropped. So I thought that maybe a piece of work that documents these gaps would, would change things for domestic courts and systems in Liberia and Uganda. Those are the two countries that I'm doing research on. Initially, I wanted to just undertake an independent project about the work, the issues that I just told you about. But as I discussed with Professor Feynman, she encouraged me to do a doctoral project instead. And I think it's a good idea because uh, the field of study is very, very broad. And as you can see, you, I'm comparing international jurisprudence with domestic jurisprudence. And it also requires a lot of expertise which could not be done in a short period of time. So that's how I ended up doing a doctorate. Yeah. Uh, it's about the expertise that Martha offers on the feminist and legal theory project. Uh, as I was looking for places, placements, I came across Emory Law School and specifically the Feminist and Legal Theory Project. I went through the archives and looked at the work they'd done, the workshops they'd held and seminars. And it did resonate with what I wanted to do. And so I thought it was the perfect place to undertake research. The Vulnerability Project has been an eye-opener for me. I started out thinking that maybe I would find that most victims were poor people and helpless women. But as I read more and more and did more research, 
uh, from both past and ongoing conflicts, be it Japan, Bosnia, Sierra Leone, Libya, the most recent, I, I felt that every woman was vulnerable to outrage in a state of lawlessness. When you look at the literature, you find that the victims have been, yes, poor women and helpless women, but also lawyers, journalists, medical personnel, aid workers, basically anyone. So once you are in a war zone, it is a real challenge, a real possibility for every woman. So I think that is the vulnerability that women share. Although outrages upon personal dignity affect both men and women, the vast majority of victims are women. And a lot of the issues that are before the courts in form of the war crime of outrages upon personal dignity have to do with sexual violence and acts that are not specifically provided for under the law. So it is a way to protect women in a way so that is the connection I see between the two. My research is comparative in nature. So at the end of it all, I hope that my work will be a useful contribution to both the international criminal justice system and domestic criminal systems, especially domestic criminal systems. I hope that uh, through my findings, local courts will be guided better in prosecuting sexual violence.